This week, it was revealed that more than a thousand New York City police officers were shown the controversial film called The Third Jihad while taking anti-terrorism training classes. Talat Hamdani lost her son Mohammed during the 9-11 attacks. She says she's outraged it was shown to New York public servants who are supposed to protect her rights. We are not important for them. We, are, we do not matter to them. We are a people to be subjugated. We are a people, you know, they are terrorizing us. Fear of Muslims in America continues to threaten worshipers of Islam who have been subjected to a number of recent attacks. Representatives from dozens of Muslim and non-Muslim groups gathered at City Hall to demand the resignation of New York City Police Commissioner Ray Kelly and his Deputy of Public Information, Paul Brown. Both men at first denied the film was shown, then later backtracked on their comments. The Third Jihad is a 71-minute documentary that claims that much of the Islamic leadership in the U.S. is preaching what they call jihad to its followers. It depicts uh, just kind of an action movie of just killing and violence and people, you know, and talking about jihad and, and, and the, the, the new war. This is a new war now. The new war is that it's, the Muslims want to take over America. I mean, it is absolutely outrageous. This is, I think, the real battle that we're fighting. It used to be that we thought we were just dealing with bigotry, that we thought we were just dealing with racism. This is much bigger than that, this is now being institutional. The movie was also produced by the nonprofit Clarion Group, which has ties to Aish Hatora, an Israeli organization that opposes any territorial concessions on the West Bank. Documents reveal that more than 1,400 police officers have seen this film. The controversy comes as the NYPD has been challenged in court for placing spies and provocateurs in mosque and community centers. It also happens as the U.S. Congress is set to once again hold hearings on the radicalization of Islam, proceedings that have been labeled by many as racist and inflammatory. Kelly issued his regrets late Wednesday, saying, quote, I offer my apologies to members of the Muslim community, in particular, who would find the film inflammatory and its airing on department property, though unauthorized, to be inappropriate. The department claims a sergeant placed the film in a display loop that flashed on the walls of the training facility. Through a number of statements, the New York City Police Department says that all of its officers are trained to protect all of the citizens of New York, regardless of race or religion. But Muslim Americans say that's hard to believe, especially if, as a matter of policy, those officers are shown films that depict them as radicals and terrorists that neither deserve protection or respect. Gary Anthony Ramsey, Press TV, New York.